Hi, and welcome to War HQ. My name is Lucius. Uh, today, what we have is a couple more figures that I've received for the last day's zombie apocalypse game. Um, these are going to be some of my survivors. Um, now, what I've gone with here is it's called, yeah, Cobblestone Castings. Um, there's the website on the back, they're from the UK by the look of it. I uh, ordered a few of these and then I have some other ones coming in as well. Uh, but for now, these these ones are what I'm going to start with. Um, as you might have seen, I've already got some zombies. These ones are Scavenger Heroes uh, box, uh, so Blister. These ones are Bikers, which I really like the look of. Uh, and I've also got some Corporate Babes, number two, which are really cool looking chicks. And then also, just as a one-off, I got this um, obviously Mad Max inspired dude um, with shoddy. He's got the pants, he's got the you know the knee brace, etc. Like Mad Max, he's sort of teched out for the post-apocalypse. Love that figure, really nice. Um, yeah, so I'll open up these and let's have a look at some of the figures. Okay, first up we've got our scavenger heroes. So let's have a look here from left to right. We've got <laughs> this guy looks pretty cool. He's got like some sort of briefcase, sort of sort of gangland member guy, like no shirt but a coat and a gun. Nice, I like it. Um, this guy looks like your sort of leader's kind of dude, sort of Rambo-esque, Green Beret looking mother. Um, I quite like the look of him. Backpacks, look he's all checked out for the Armageddon. Um, we've got this lady here, she's looking quite cool. She's got the assault rifle, she's got uh, a silencer on it. Um, you know, backpacks, you know, practical clothing. I like it. Um, old mate here with the spiky hair. Some little punk, uh, he's got like a patch gun, yeah, a couple of grenades. It looks good, I like it. And finally, uh, this bloke here, just sort of crawling forward here. Not sure of himself, sorry about the drop. Okay, that's him there. So that's in the Scavenger Heroes uh, set, which I quite like. Um, one thing that pisses me off is they don't have... Um, actual proper bases, you know, for 25 millimeter bases or something, which sort of sucks. So they've only got these metal stands. It means I'm going to have to go and buy some, which uh, I live rurally, which is a pain in the ass. That's all right. Okay, next up we have our bikers. I really like this one. They really captures it quite well. Um, you've got biker over here with a pump action shotgun. Um, you know, they're suitably attired and and they look really cool in the leathers, they've got the long hair, you know, big ass knife, um, you know, pump action shotguns and stuff, he looks cool. This is what we'd uh, refer to in Australia as a, uh, a biker slag, or a mole. <laughs> Some of our uh, foreign listeners might not understand what that means. Basically just like a, a biker babe, yeah. Anyway, she looks pretty cool, all hotted up. Um, he's some more ruffian looking dudes. This guy's got the pumpy again. You know, the sort of bigger models. He's got the sunglasses going on. Uh, the beard, you know, big hefty dude. I like it. Uh, this guy kind of looks like, you know, your, your biker leader or something. He's pretty rad. He's um, rolling with a, a chain. He's got like a length of chain. He's got grenades. He's got like a submachine gun here and a helmet. Um, yeah, really cool model. It's one of my favorites. Look at that, he's even got like an army um, water bottle on the back. So these, these figures are looking really good for, you know, what I've got in mind for the post-apocalyptic kind of thing. And there's a few gangs here that are just all pre-built, basically. Um, here's another biker, larger dude. Um, what's he got there? He's got some sort of can, like for eating or, or drink. You know, some pouches, a couple of things. I mean, these guys kind of look like they're teched out, you know. Um... For the post-apocalypse, I already showed you the Mad Max guy before. He's there as well. Okay, last acquisition was the Corporate Babes number two set. I really like these guys. I, I like this chick's in like a dinner dress and, and high heels, but um, has a submachine gun, um, as you do. So she's got the dinner, dinner dress there. Very cool. I was thinking about these before, and you know, some people might be like, "Oh, sexist and that," but you know, I go camping with my wife all the time, and she wears the most inappropriate attire for when we go hiking. You know, it annoys me to no end. I can see her in the zombie apocalypse, you know, being dressed maybe like this chick with some sort of dinner coat with you know fur and stuff and high heels, and 
you know, uh, <laughs> surviving like she's tough as nails, but, um, you know, surviving the apocalypse, looking, looking awesome. And that's how I see these chicks. Okay. Is this, oh, I really like this one with a coat. Uh, there's this, this lady here who's got the, uh, sort of like the schoolgirl uniform with the, the katana. Very cool. Iconic. Yeah. Real anime, anime kind of thing. Um, we've got this lady here. She's got like a, basically like her, uh, over the shoulder bag here, um, purse and stuff and, and a handgun. That's cool. Um, you know, big boots and a belt. I like it. Um, she's fallen over cause it's got a small base and, uh, here's our corporate sort of executive type chick, uh, slinging a handgun there, um, in a business kind of sort of the female equivalent of a business suit. Um, looks quite cool. Got a bit of jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. So that's my cobblestone castings purchase. Uh, as I said, I'll be using these for, um, last days zombie apocalypse. So, you know, I thought what I'd do here is just as a base, get like three different focuses. So I mean, I mean, I could go like a biker gang. I could start it around that. I've got five models. I could add other bits to it. Um, I've got also, you know, like a, this corporate um, female sort of gang I could start here. It's kind of makes a cool backstory, you know, like these ladies, um, you know, once high role in business executives and maybe their daughter, you know, um, you know, get into the zombie apocalypse and this is what they do, you know, like it's a good start to a gang. And then, you know, you've also got this sort of like well-prepared scavenger kind of gang here. Where it's a bit of eclectic mix of people, which could easily slot into any of these other gangs as well. And then your Mad Max type. So... Uh, 16 models there. That's going to be the start of my first few teams anyway. Um, so yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, please like, comment and subscribe um, to our channel if you like what we do. Uh, more of this kind of content. If you play Last Days, I'm only just getting into it. So let me know how you go and, and what you think of the game. Um, but I'll be doing some painting guides on these and, um, and showing you some of the gangs that I make uh, for the game itself coming up and probably some bat reps in the future as well. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that and thank you for your time.